Now let's first install the JPlayer module. Go to module page. Scroll down. Currently, this is a beta version, and it was released uh, about a few years ago, and there's no any other newer release after this. But so far, it works as expected. So we will install this module. If you encounter any problem or issue, do check it out on their issue queue for some helps. Now let's copy the link. Back to our Drupal site. Go to modules. Install new module. Paste the link here. Click install. Now as usual, before we turn on the module, we need to download the JPlayer library from the JPlayer official website. So let's go to JPlayer website. You can click on the button here, and I have already downloaded the file, so please do so. Now go to our Drupal folder, go to Sites, All, Libraries. Now I have unzipped the folder here. Open this folder, go to this distribution folder. Now you will see this JPlayer folder, and this is the folder we need. Let's copy this folder back to our Libraries folder and paste it here so we can delete this folder no longer needed let's check the folder structure libraries folder here and we have jplayer go in there are three files here all right now back to our Drupal site and turn on the module enable newly added module let's search for jplayer let's turn on this jplayer all right and click save configuration Let's go to Reports, Status Report. Scroll down. Now you'll see it says here for JPlayer. It says that the JPlayer is not found, missing the JPlayer library. So we flash a page again. Make sure our library is detected. And even we flash the catch. Scroll down again. Take a look. Now the not found message is still here. So that means our library is not detected. There should be some way goes wrong, right? Now after googling around and checking in the JPlayer's issue forum, we know we are not alone, and someone already encountered the installation problem and submitted an issue to address this. So let's go to the JPlayer issue forum to find the solution. Go back to our JPlayer page. Up here, advanced search. Scroll down. There's one of the issue called install doesn't work with this version 2.9.2. Let's click on it. Scroll down here. From here we know that JPlayer JavaScript file doesn't have a version in the language expression pattern that the module is looking for as it's specified here. Alright? You can read through all these issues and there are also patches provided. However, there's a simple fix here on the first post. It says that changing the first line of the min file from this to this. This means we need to look for the file and replace this line with this line to have the version specified. So let's copy this line. Let's open our text editor. Go to Sites, All, Libraries, JPlayer. Look for this JPlayer Minify file and open it. The first line, let's replace with what we copied just now. Highlight this and paste it. So basically, just to replace the JPlayer with this version. Right? So let's save the file. Back to our Drupal site. Refresh the page and see. Now, JPlayer library detected is in green, right? 2.9.2. Great. So now we learn there are at times when we fail to install a module or library, it's good to Google to find out or to check it out at the issue queue itself to see if anyone else is encountering the same problem. Great. Now everything is ready. Let's move on.